Local broadcasts of Home is Here are made possible by the support of viewers like you. Mahalo and by Atlas Insurance Agency, Hawaii's largest professional agency, helping Hawaii navigate insurance solutions since 1929. More at atlasinsurance.com. First Hawaiian Bank, it all starts with yes. We're proud to call Hawaii our home. Peisha Hawaii, a third generation family owned company with island roots dating back to World War II, is a proud supporter of Hawaii's music, arts, and culture. Locations, Hawaii's largest locally owned real estate company. Since 1969, we've been your local neighborhood expert. Welcome home. Conservation Dogs of Hawaii is an Oahu based nonprofit organization. Uh, we have a twofold mission to utilize dogs to uh, detect invasive species that are harmful to the environment and to other wildlife, and also to detect endangered species so that we may gather data to help protect them. We were working on training the dogs to do rodent um, detection for the future biosecurity program. And um, in the process of you know, just owning the rats and getting to know them, I found them to be extremely smart and trainable and very um, smell motivated or smell uh, oriented. So I started doing a little bit of training with them and it got me thinking that you know, the rats could be used for conservation purposes as well. So this is a tin that contains Q-tips scented with clove oil. These are fresh peas, which are the rat's favorite treat. So I'm gonna put this here now. I don't know if it smell like that. Good. Good boy. <laughs> if you do this over an extended period of time, you actually see the changes of behavior, same as dogs, that they're catching the scent and trying to locate it. It's all classical conditioning. It's similar to Pavlov's dogs where they associate the bell with food, so they start salivating. Uh, we pair the target odor that we want them to find with either their food or their toy, whichever they're motivated more to search for. And then once they've made that association, we take the food or toy away and they're motivated to find just the odor by itself, followed up by the reward. Even though generally they're known as a horrible invasive species, um, if you had pet rats that were trained properly, you could uh, put them on a boat or a drone to look for targets that the dogs cannot access because of dangerous terrain or what have you, water. And I, in general, they're, they're more expendable. I mean, to me, to me, they're not, but you know, most people wouldn't put a dog at risk of flying mines, but they might do that with a rat. I, I would say that most people are afraid of rats at first, and when they come and meet them and see how cute they are, even just the way they eat their food, they start to develop a liking for them. 